Am I the asshole? For bailing on Thanksgiving for the tenth year in a row for Bali? I'm a flight attendant for a major airline, so working on holidays is a given. I've been working long enough I could get holidays and time off if I want, but I don't take them up on it. For the past decade, I've skipped major family holidays and events like weddings and christenings. Part of it has to do with something that happened a long time ago. Long story short, my ex knocked up my sister and they got married. I have no interest in them and haven't met their children. I haven't even gone back to my hometown since their engagement announcement. My mother has been asking me when I'm going to come back. And the answer is never. I tell her I don't know. Well she and my dad are getting up there in years and they want a family celebration with everyone. Including my cheat of an ex and his family. She just asked when I'm going to be here for Thanksgiving and I told her that work got in the way. She broke down crying over the phone and pleaded with me to put in a time off request so I can see her. My other FA family thinks I should do this one thing because it's not healthy to put work over family. Honestly, I can't stand to see my ex happy with his affair partner and what could have been us. Also I am spending part of the holidays in Bali and have better things to do than be miserable in fucking Cleveland. Am I the asshole? Look, you're an adult, you have your life. If you want to be LCNC and not meet them, it's your right. And in seeing what your ex and your sister have done, I certainly don't blame you. Not the asshole. Not the asshole but you should give your parents the choice of having you or your cheating ex and his family there. But your parents seem to have made a choice so they will either lie or choose the cheater. Not the asshole. I think it might be a good idea to be direct with your mother though. Saying sorry, work has booked me for that time is very different than mum. I'm never coming home because I don't want to ever see anyone connected with my sister and cheating ex. The reason why you got told it's unhealthy to put work over family is because enough people in your family believe it's your job's fault and not your own decision to avoid them. Not the asshole, but couldn't you get your mom a free ticket to meet you somewhere, for a short vacation together? Or is she also part of the reason you don't want to go home? Not the asshole. It's not healthy to put work over family. When it's what you want to do and you don't want to be around them. Why wouldn't it be healthy? Not the asshole for not wanting to be in your ex's and sister's lives. Soft odd behavior against your parents. Are they on sister's side? Are they like well yeah they cheated but now they have kids so it's okay? Then they deserve it. Not the asshole. I understand that your family wants to see you, but at the same time they also shouldn't pretend like the affair between your ex and your sister didn't happen. Not the asshole I wouldn't be able to see my sibling either under those circumstances. But I'd be upfront with your mother and stop stringing her along, let her know that as long as sister is at holidays, you won't be. None of this I don't know business, just be upfront. Tell her you're happy to see her other times, or hell, maybe one day she'll join you in Bali. Not the asshole. I do understand you're hurt, but I think you need to be clear with your mom that your intention is to never be in the room with the cheaters. Instead, by blaming it on work, you are leaving her with some hope. Did either of the cheaters ever apologize to you? Nah, but this is crazy to me. I seriously don't get why some people give up on their entire family just because an ex cheated with a family member. Yes it's a betrayal of course, and it's completely understandable if your relationship with your sister never recovers, but are you seriously going to lose your parents who you say you miss over this? Is a cheating ex really worth all that? You are only hurting yourself. It's been 10 years. Maybe you should try letting go of the hurt perhaps with the help of a therapist so that you can have your parents in your life again. Not the asshole. It's your choice whether you want to attend Thanksgiving or not, nobody else's. Two things. Firstly, you don't have to go to family events but stop stringing your parents along. Tell them you will never meet your sister and her family. Ever. Secondly, visit your goddamn parents. You are allowed to go at any time of the year you know. Not just holidays. Ah it's completely healthy when your family don't have your back. Not the asshole. Why is it you who should have to make all the concessions? You were the person wronged in this situation. Your mother made her choice to support a cheater and a backstabber, you are free to make your own too. Not the asshole but be honest with your mom. Tell her you love her and will make plans to see her as long as your sister and ex are not there because what they did is an unforgivable betrayal. No need to pussyfoot around the issue. That's your non-negotiable condition. If she can work around that, you'll see her. Point finale. Just tell your parents the truth, that you're never coming back. Why lie to them? Reading your post not the asshole, 
but be honest with your parents about whether or not they'll see you again instead of leaving them hanging. Reading your comments please find a therapist. What happened was terrible but you're allowing it to cripple your life. Maybe a therapist that does online or phone sessions given how much you travel. Info. Why do you tell your mother I don't know instead of giving the truthful answer of never? You stringing her along they way you are is the real ah move you've made throughout the post. Perhaps you need to be honest with your mother. I don't want to see my cheating ex and my cheating sister. Can your parents come out to see you? Either way the assholes here are one. Your sister and two. Your ex. Not the asshole edit to add judgment. Question. Have you told your parents why? Have you given them the choice of picking one of the two to have over for holidays? Jesus Christ go to therapy. It's not healthy? But your family think it's okay for your sister to screw her her sister's partner? That's some screwed up reasoning. You're not the asshole. If your parents want to see you, they can arrange a time that doesn't involve your sister. Not the asshole. Try to see your parents at another time and in another place. As for the others, they should realize by now that you're done with them. Not the asshole Thanksgiving really brings out the worst in families. Every other post on here is people griping about it. You are completely validated to your feelings. Also, please rescue me from my family in Cleveland and take me with you to Bali. Not the asshole. You can tell your mom to make a choice she has you there, or she has them there. But you also have a choice. You can choose new people to call family. You can have that closeness with others that like and accept you as you. Go to Bali. And maybe invite your parents to come with you sometime. But just your parents. It's okay to be clear that you don't care about those others. Not the asshole. Your sister and your ex are toxic and your parents don't understand. I'd take Bali over literally anywhere in the continental US any day. Not the asshole but maybe just tell your mom you have no intention of returning ever, if anything for your own sanity to save these constant requests. Surely your mom realizes that it's not exactly a situation you would look forward to? Go visit your parents at a different time? Doesn't have to be a holiday. But also if you haven't you need to straight up tell your mom that you will never be in the same room as your sister or your ex ever not the asshole. Not the asshole for wanting to avoid playing fake happy family with your sister over a holiday. You're the asshole if you are refusing to spend any time at all with your parents solo. If they are willing to respect your boundaries, then you need to start thinking about how you can support them as they age. Not the asshole. You're allowed to cut off family. Especially after what your sister did to you. Kind of shocked your mom hasn't put two and two together yet. Not the asshole. Bali over Cleveland sounds like a no-brainer. You have a boundary of not spending time with your ex and sister. I do hope you see your parents at another time or fly them out to meet you somewhere nice but you don't have to fulfill your mom's fantasy at the expense of your mental health. You're a grown up, how and with whom you spend your time is up to you. Not the asshole. Not the asshole for skipping family gatherings, but perhaps plan more time to see your parents. You shouldn't punish them for your sister's cruelty. Not the asshole. You should ask your mom when will she stop playing favorites and come visit you for the holidays. Why should the rat bastard ex and your awful sister get dibs every holiday with her? With your career you could take mom on some pretty epic vacations instead of her slaving over a stove all day cooking for everyone else. Not the asshole but just be honest and tell them you are in fact never coming home for any family celebration because your sister and ex ruined the family for you. If you want to see your mom then fly her to see you somewhere and you two can have a mini mom daughter vacay and then you can continue and see you with everyone else. ESH. Not the asshole for not wanting to see your sister and avoiding any family celebrations where you'd see her. But you're the asshole for cutting out your parents for something they didn't do to you. Your sister is an aw and you stated your parents didn't attend her wedding and rightfully so. But your sister has their only grandchildren to date and have a relationship with her solely for those kids sakes. So you're punishing your parents for something someone else did to you? Makes you DA in that regard and trust me when I say this, you end up regretting the decision when it's too late. Not the asshole. Don't let people guilt you into doing things you don't want to. Bali sounds like a better choice anyway, double exclamation mark. I honestly think she's being immature. 10 years is a long time to punish your parents for something that isn't even their fault. It seems like they just want to see their kid. While I will say being cheated on sucks and the ex and her sisters are major Oz her mom didn't tell either of them to do that. She could make time not around the holiday to visit her parents. Not the asshole you were betrayed by both your ex and your sister, most people would find that hard to forgive. So not wanting them in your life, ever, 
is a valid response. I don't blame you. I wouldn't want to spend a day in Cleveland either. Not the asshole.